Hey After Buzzers, I am super excited to introduce you to our latest guest, Ejo. She is an entrepreneur, a filmmaker, a model, and an influencer. Stay tuned. You're tuned in to After Buzz TV, the ESPN of TV talk. Now, let the buzz begin. Welcome, 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 Ejo. I'm super excited to talk to you today. You're an entrepreneur, you're a filmmaker, you've done so many cool things, and I know there are a lot of obstacles as a female in this industry. So we're going to talk about uh, the obstacles you face as a female entrepreneur in this industry. We're also going to be talking about your brand Global Intuition, um, your partnership with Shiseido, and later on your upcoming film Stars and Scars. So let's just get right into it right now. Um, tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, I was born and raised in China for the first seven years, and then I grew up in Italy and went to school in Paris, University Paris and London. And then I moved back to China in 2011 and started my company, Joe Studio, um, to produce content mostly for my own art videos because uh, I started as a video artist. Um, and then slowly we bridged to work with luxury brands that mm -hmm. wanted to um, penetrate um, the Chinese market, which was booming uh, back then in 2010 and 11. And now I've been relocating myself and started also a US branch of my company Joe Studio in Los Angeles since last year. And so I'm really happy to discover more American life and all the entertainment industry and um, the lifestyle. <laughs> Do you think traveling to so many places and living in so many places in Europe and then also in China and now coming finally to America has influenced your filmmaking and your fashion sense at all? And if so, how? I think uh, definitely we are um, a togetherness of our experiences and definitely living in different countries has been really shaping like a very open mind without boundary. And that's why I've always been a creative person. And, <laughs> and then uh, now I think challenging more into entrepreneurship to be able to add the creativity in the business. I think it's a new challenge for me. So talk to me a little bit about Global Intuition, because I know you're wearing Global Intuition right now. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the fashion brand. What is it like? What are you, what are you going for when you, when you think Global Intuition? Global Intuition is a brand uh, we launched last year in July with Fred Siegel with a collaborative um, line that we did with the support of Swarovski. And we did the window on Sunset. Uh, which was a giant sort of sign and I really liked it because you know you could drive by at night and see it and Global Intuition is um, a modern approach to fashion meaning that we have three lines uh, one is a basic line which is really at leisure affordable and for millennials and beyond mm -hmm. <laughs> and like what I'm wearing is a basic line of jeans and uh, jean jacket t-shirts and we have a classic line which is a little bit more high-end uh, higher priced mm -hmm. uh, with um, a different range of leather jackets and jackets and pants upcoming and then we have a heritage line that we are gonna uh, start um, very soon and it will be dedicated to um, really masters of cinema mm -hmm. and some really um, you know heritage cultural um, people and institutions so we will upcoming have um, a collection and collaboration with David Lynch to support also partly David Lynch Foundation mm -hmm. um, and 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 that's we, a huge collaboration by yeah the way. That's I'm really amazing. happy to because I really like the foundation the work they're doing to spread um, transcendental meditation to help um, students and veterans in order to cope with stress, PTSD. So I'm a huge fan of the meditation and this method. I think it's a really powerful tool and to be able to collaborate with them 
both creatively fashion but also at the same time be able to help people and give back i think that's something that is really important to me and and so yeah we're really excited and and we are also launching our sneaker line um which is a basic line um with a, sneak, a sneaker con in collaboration with endeavor wme img group in china very cool. in May. yes very cool that's a lot yeah it's that's a lot. a lot to take on so how did you go about that what what was your thought process like when you said i'm gonna create a fashion brand it's going to look like this we're gonna do these collaborations that's a huge huge goal to take on and you're taking it on and you're killing it what are what's some advice you have for aspiring female entrepreneurs i think it didn't start in a very ambitious way because i I just, my best friend, she said, you've been working in the last couple of years with a lot of fashion brands. You've done a lot of capsule collections. Why don't you do something on your own and maybe you can, you know, fly with your own wings. So I thought about it for over a year and then finally I said to her, yeah, maybe it's right. We, I should give a try. So um, I'm lucky that um, I found people from the very beginning who, um, support my work, such as, you know, uh, Fred Tegel's president, who mm -hmm. gave me the chance to be able to be in such a beautiful display and and to be able to work with WME, IMG, uh, who, which uh, company not, not only represents me as a talent, but also now also represents my brand. And I think it's a huge uh, sign of encouragement for them to say we want to be on board, even if it's just the beginning, because we believe in you and we believe in the potential of the brand. So I think um, what I want to do is really not to be fashion. And I think there are already enough fashion out there and I think what we want today is to be able to do something that communicates that you know who we are is really important and the clothes um, come and go you know you can wear a fancy dress you can wear a simple tee but at the end who you really are tripped stripped off of everything is really the most important that's why th the brand global and intuition there's a lot of more philosophical meaning behind it because the word intuition itself it has so many meanings that we can evoke and everybody can attach a different meaning to it. So I really want to draw the attention to the more philosophical aspect and to really also give a message to the audience and to the millennials that, you know, just think about beyond fashion, beyond trends. Mm -hmm. I love that. Thank and you. Because a lot about fashion, it's not just how you look on the outside, yes. it's how you feel on the inside. So this is from a business point of view, mm -hmm. your brand, but like you said earlier and like I mentioned, you are a model too and you've done a lot of work with different brands. So let's take a look at some of those brands right now on the screen. Um, this is beautiful, by the way. I believe this was Barney's, right? Yes, a Barney's so you, window with a theory, yeah. and which was designed by Olivier Tyskens, who is a great friend of mine. Um, mm -hmm. I met him in Paris. And it was great that he invited me, uh, Sky Ferrara, the singer, actress, and also um, the founder of Glossier. And so they were, um, we were a, a group of female um, in the in this particular window campaign for Barney's New York. I love it. Um, I really want to highlight the Shiseido campaign. I know you've done a lot of work with Shiseido. This is absolutely beautiful, and I love that it shows. Thank you. You in front of the camera as a model, but also, more importantly, behind At the work, camera. Yes. Because it kind of is a testament to um, all of the filmmaking that you do. Yes. And I love that you can partner something like a beauty brand with something like the brains and the, you know, the dimension yes. of you actually being a creative filmmaker. And um, I do want to get into that and talk about your upcoming film, Stars and Scars. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about that. Stars and Scars is a project that started when I went to Cannes Film Festival and for the second time, 2014, and I was walking the red carpet uh, with my short uh, for the second time there. And they were like, um, oh, here she comes, you know, all in French. And uh, you know, please welcome. And then they said, but next time she's not going to come again because <laughs> when she's going to come back, she will come back with a feature film. So I sort of felt, wow, maybe it's a really strong message to tell me it's time for me to explore a longer format. So um, that's when I started in 2014 to think about it. And then the actual work started in 2016 towards the end of the year. And then more 
in 2017 and uh, more in depth in 2018 with you know my team in LA doing more research and really going through the drafts and seeing how we can uh, make a movie that is um, combining American and um, Chinese culture. What is it mainly about? Because I know it fuses the two cultures mm -hmm. together. Yes. What is the main takeaway of the movie? It's a sci-fi noir romance. Okay. Yes. Very cool, very cool. Well, I'm really interested to see it when it finally does come together. Mm -hmm. um, are there any other future projects that you're working on that you want to plug? Um, so far, um, I'm, I'm focusing on these. Uh -huh. and, and you also have a movie um, that's going to be highlighting global intuition. Yes. It's coming out next yes, week. Yes, it's coming uh, next week, and it's a short film that we did uh, for my brand to showcase uh, our basic line, the collaborative line with Swarovski. Uh, we have an actress princess, Clotilde Courot, who is also on the board of my company. And we have um, two models, McKinley Hill, the sister of Taylor Hill. And we have um, also Lexi Wood, who's also a model and uh, influencer. And I always see her also at boxing. <laughs> She's very sporty. And, and then it's shot by Sophia Banks and in her house. So I really like the idea that I worked with another filmmaker to be able to create something. And I was this time in front of a camera, more in the art direction and working with um, someone. So I could really see that um, how much effort as a female filmmaker we have to put into the work and for her to be able to juggle so with her daughter, with her family. So I think really applause to all the people working hard uh, behind the scenes mm -hmm. to make things happen and to make a change. And a huge applause to you as well. I love that not only are you an entrepreneur, you're a model, you're an influencer, <laughs> and you're so ambitious and you're doing all of these very cool things. Thank you. So thank you so much for sharing thank all of you. your upcoming projects with us. Um, and before we get going, where can everyone find you on social media? So at Ijo Official and at Global Intuition and at Ijo Studio. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Ijo. And you guys can all follow me on Instagram at Mina Makes Magic. Thank you so much for tuning in. Our founder, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and me, Maria Menunos, would like to thank you for tuning in to AfterBuzz TV. Remember, we're not just the first, we're the biggest in the world, and we're the only destination for all your favorite TV shows. Whatever you crave, we've got it. So go to AfterBuzzTV.com and check out our lineup. Buzz you later. <laughs> The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. 